Hello everyone, my name is Evo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. Today folks, I'd like to share with you a few tips on sourdough starters that is going to make it more encouraging for you to have a sourdough starter and then easy for you to maintain it and convenient for you to use along the way. So as we all know, sourdough starter is an active fermented culture which makes for a healthier bread because it actually feeds the good bacteria in our digestive system along with other health benefits. So we know that sourdough bread is good for us, but we have this idea that it's hard to maintain, it's cumbersome, time consuming. None of the above folks. We're going we're gonna to remove that myth right now. So right here I have about 60 grams, about two ounces of sourdough starter. So I've used my sourdough starter and that's what I have left. So typically, whatever you have left, you feed the same amount in flour and water. So I have 60 grams of starter. I would feed it 60 grams of flour and 60 grams of water. Uh, it is that, that starter is going to feed on that flour and water. And if I leave it out over on the counter, it's good for about 24 hours. And then it starts to uh, taper down. But if you don't use your sourdough starter every day, uh, that's not going to work for you because if that's the case, you'll have to discard and refeed every 24 hours. Discard and refeed. Well, the way to avoid that, number one, is to use the refrigerator. So the refrigerator in this case is your friend. Number two, and this one probably more importantly, in combination with the refrigerator, folks, overfeed your starter. So I said I had 60 grams, about two ounces of, of starter. Instead of giving it 60 grams of flour and 60 of water, I'm going to give it 200 grams of flour and 200 grams of water. So basically overfeed it. And so for those of you who are working in ounces, it's two ounces of starter and I'm going to give it about seven ounces of flour and seven ounces of water. So let's turn that on. The point here that I'm making, it doesn't really matter what metric you use. The point is we're going to overfeed it. So we're going to give it a lots of food and it's going to take a lot more time for that active culture to eat away at that food. And then on top of that, we're going to put it in the refrigerator, which also slows down the feeding process. So now our sourdough starter is going to last a lot longer. So uh, I'm going with 200 grams, again, seven ounces, but that number is irrelevant. The, the, the main thing is we're adding a lot more than we need to. So let's take it up to 200. Okay, and I'm just using all-purpose flour here right now. Um, I'll tell you another good thing to do. So there's 200 grams of flour. I've already pre-measured 200 grams of water. That goes in. Okay, and then as you normally do, just mix it all together. And now our sourdough starter will be fed. And uh, I mentioned I'm using all-purpose flour. It's a good habit, folks, to feed your starter different flours. Don't get it used to the same old flour day in and day out. Think of it almost as you. If you had the same food every day, you'd get bored of it after a while, right? So with, with your sourdough starter, you know, maybe one day you're going to add half all-purpose, half whole wheat. Maybe you're going to add a little bit of rye. So you mix it up a little bit and you keep your sourdough starter very, very healthy. So once it's all mixed together, now I'm going to put a lid on it. And that's going to go in the refrigerator. I like to put elastic around so that I can see the, uh, the level. And then what will happen in the fridge, folks, it'll slowly start to rise. You'll see it slowly start to rise above uh, the current level. But again, the key there is slowly. I like to use my sourdough once or twice a week. Um, once a week is absolutely no problem. Put it in the fridge, take it out when you need it, let it come to room temp and use it. You'll have an active uh, sourdough starter, no problem. Uh, even two weeks, not a problem. If you're going on vacation and you're concerned because you might be going for a month or longer, 
then feed it even more. Uh, in this case, instead of feeding 200 grams and 200 grams, maybe I'll feed it 400 and 400 because I'm going away for a month. So, and then put it in the fridge, same thing. And when you come back, it might have separated a little bit. You might see some water on the top. It's still perfectly fine. Just mix it all together, do some discard and refeed it with some fresh uh, flour and water right away when you get back from vacation. So really folks, it's very, very easy to maintain this. The key is overfeeding. Um, if you don't use it regularly, daily, just overfeed it and the refrigerator. Now, if you happen to be going for six months for some reason or five months, you're going to leave the country for a while and you have this beautiful sourdough starter or this mother, let's call it, mother starter that you don't want to part with, you can put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer. When you come back from your extended journey, take it out, let it come to room temp and do the same process. Take some out, refeed it, take it out, refeed it, and it will come back to life. So um, there's no need not to have a sourdough starter because folks, it really is not that hard to uh, maintain. And then of course, there's always, always the other option. If you're going away on vacation, you just give it to a friend and say, hey, take, take 100 grams out and put 100 grams in of flour and water and feed it for me uh, every other week and leave it in the fridge. That's the other option. If you've got a good friend, you could do that too, but you don't need to burden a friend. Like I said, just leave it in the fridge and you're good to go. So I hope you use those tips and I hope folks that you actually get your own sourdough starter. You know what? It's fun to do and it makes fantastic bread, good flavor and good health benefits, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, if you don't know how to get one started, I have a video, I'll put a link in the description for you. It's easy to start your own starter. And you know what? Once you have your own, you can keep it for years and years and years and even hand it down to from generation to generation and really get that mother going from, from like I say, generation to generation. It's a lot of fun. Folks, wherever you're tuning in from, as always, I want to thank you for spending time with me. I hope these tips have helped you. And I really hope that you do give sourdough uh, a, a try because it's definitely worth it. And like I said, it's a lot of fun. Until next time, bon appetito.